Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the wonderful Wubulus Project Zomboid, or as I like to call it lately, Death, Dying, Decay, and Despair, as it tends to be for me lately. Uh, we're going to be booting up a new world, obviously, here, and uh, I don't know, I I've been begging this game through the, our, my game titles for a long time, so, uh, dear, uh, let's make it all caps, because they need to know we mean business. Dear Zomboid, please let me live. Hopefully that'll work out nicely. And uh, we'll load up. We're not going to be Margaret because we are a man. We'll be Gray, uh, Greg Mathis. That's totally legit. Uh, and we're going to boot up as the construction worker to try and prolong our life as best as we can. And we'll load right up into the game and see what happens. Now, remember, I read a comment not too long ago. I don't know if it was the episode before this one or the one before that. That basically said, it doesn't matter. It, it, doesn't, it, it seems that when you first start surviving, things are way more difficult than when they are later. Like, the zombies are a little bit more... Um, attentive and, and aggressive and I say to that sir you are correct but the reason for that is not as buggy as you may make it out to be uh, the reason that that's the case excuse me as I like have a weird thing in my throat the reason that that is the case is because you have no skills now remember the more you sneak around and run stuff the better off your character ends up being and, and the better at uh, we're gonna equip a frying pan because frying pan is amazing um, the better you end up being at doing things so the more I sneak the better I am at sneaking therefore the less uh, attention they're paying to me so that's exactly how the game should be working uh, and I, I hope that helps answer whatever worry you may or may not have had about it maybe you weren't even worried about it you were just kinda of pointing it out hey guys are a lot more difficult early on, Mathis, just be careful. Um, but I just felt like I should point that out just in case you were thinking otherwise. So we did get a soda bottle right away, which is excellent because we could fill that up with water pretty much immediately. Uh, we want to get a, a good sustainable water source uh, pretty much as fast as we can in this game. Uh, it looks like we're going to be in a decent area. I'm curious. I, I think I know this house. I think I know where we are. But before I worry about it, I want to make sure this house has nothing left. Oh, blah. I want to make sure this house has nothing left that we don't need to loot. A couple of razors aren't really going to do me any good. Let's head upstairs. Could be dangerous heading up here, so... Uh, I'm not entirely sure how the zombie spawning works early on. I'm curious if uh, the house you spawn in immediately has no zombies in it, just to make it safe enough so you're not going to die. You know, you're not going to load up the game and bam, suddenly you have zombies you have to deal with and you're going to die. Uh, so I'm curious if that's the case. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. And uh, I'd actually hope that was the case. Not to say that not to say that the houses outside don't or like immediately outside the house that you're in doesn't have any uh zombies. Oh, baseball bat. Yes, this counts. I'm allowed to take this. For those of you who wonder why I dropped the baseball bat right away, it's because I'm not supposed to start with the baseball bat. Baseball bat's not something we'll start with. It is supposed to be um, you're supposed to have, be weaponless and just, you know, gearless as, as survival games are supposed to go. So I always drop the baseball bat. That way it doesn't seem like I am cheating. Uh, we're going to head out the front door, leave the door open, and head to the shed in the back. Of course, we have to also hope that we don't run into many zombies. We are in the nice suburban area, which is nice. The birds are tweeting. It's a sunny day. And, uh, things are happy. We could pop this open. I'm, I don't know if there's actually anything in there worth looting. I don't... I don't think so. I think it's just a couple of shelves, but we might as well pop that sucker open anyway and take a good long look. Uh, it doesn't. There aren't any zombies in there anyway, so it's not like we're risking ourselves. If there were, we could hear them banging on the door. My guy is going to be struggling with this window for a while. There we go. Hopefully there's no alarm. Do I hear anything moving in the bushes? I don't think so. I think it's just my cat. A couple of shelves. Oh, there is something in here other than that. A golf club it is one of the worst weapons I've ever come across in this game. But we can pop that open now and leave that. We can just check some nearby houses at this point. I saw a walker over there. I kind of want to leave him alone um, as best I can. Yeah, see, they're going to notice me anyway. So sneaking everywhere is probably going to be the best option that we have uh, early on anyway. Good. Baseball bat is, is always a really nice thing to have. Ooh, a hammer right away. All right, we're going to be overloaded pretty quickly. So I'd like to find like a, a bag of some sort, plastic bag, school bag, anything would really work. Let's try to get into this house. Let's try to get into this house and see what we can let's see what we can see. As somebody on a show I watch says is quite often. I'm not entirely sure why. Uh let's see. Please no alarm Oh for fuck's sake. Kinda go. Kinda go. We'll just kinda sneak away here. Head duck down in shame as we try to let the alarm kinda do its thing. 
Hopefully we'll get far enough away where we get away from... Whoop. There's zombies over there. Gotta take a wide berth around this building on the off chance there's a bunch of zombies wandering this way. Doesn't seem like it. Luckily, it looks like most of the horde wasn't down this way, so heading back in this direction was a good guess. Um... Hmm... I don't really want to fight unless I absolutely have to. Oh, this guy's fast. We can at least knock him to the ground. We might be able to take him out. Okay, back up. Whoop. Boy, I just forget that. We're just not that good at fighting right now. Down he goes. Alright, good. These guys are going to make their way toward me. We might be able to avoid at least one of them. Maybe two. Eh, we'll, we'll avoid both. And this forest clearing right here is probably what prevented the horde from either hearing. Whoa. Oh, oh, I hear a zombie. I don't know what they were doing there. And having like a, a mosh pit gathering. This one came out of the doghouse. Had a nice little comfy, like, nap time area in the doghouse. We can quickly get away from the rest here. Not a big deal. And we might want to just try and clear this immediate area. Maybe take this house here as, like, a temporary safe house. As we, uh, attempt to kind of find some sort of semblance of safety. Ah, my head is itchy. Oh, it's not a good time, head. Not a good time for itching. We'll try to take out this guy here. The more sneaking we do, the better, obviously. Down they go. Getting a little bit of a charge attack before hitting them is actually pretty good. You, I, which is, I, guess, I was going to say which is surprising, but it's not surprising. I'm just surprised that I finally decided to do it that way. Crap. One, two, at least three. Well, we could take out at least this guy here. We're probably going to call... We're going to... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's fast. All right. That's fine. Down you go, big guy. Down you go, big fella. We attracted two more. And another one here. Nope. Not worth it. I was going to try and clear it, but I heard the one in the forest move as well. So that doesn't really help me. Here's the main road. Something we're definitely going to want to follow shortly. God damn it. Um, Let's just back out of here. Just run down the road. It's fine. We'll attract whatever we got to attract. And uh, we'll dip into an area of houses at some point once I feel safe enough to do so. I just don't feel like where we are is safe enough. Through here, we're just going to cut. I should just avoid the main roads as much as possible. The problem is right now the zombies are kind of dispersed pretty thickly in this area, which makes sense as uh, as to where we are. All right, let's uh let's take out this one lady. Ooh, she wants me. Hmm. Luckily she's a cutie. All the cuties love me. Down you go. Stay down. I will back up. We might go to this house here. Not gonna go to this one, but just in case that lady, that lady zombie, meanders her way close to me. But we will go to this one over here if we can. There's a zombie in there, so never mind. Maybe the next one over. We'll take a look in the window. We'll hopefully strike gold. It does not sound like we will. I hear banging. Probably a zombie in the house. We might be able to pop this one open. I don't know if that's coming from in there or over here. What we're going to do is pop this open and sleep in this bed in here, though, one way or another. Okay. I thought I heard a zombie. I had to turn around. I had a little panic attack. I'm sorry. I apologize for disrupting my window opening maneuvers, but I wanted to ensure safety. So once it pops open, I will have no problem just spending the night in here. Let's hope there's no alarm. And there is not, so we're gonna. Uh, let's see, we can. I don't wanna build. Close curtain. Alright. We will spend the night here. Probably not the best decision, but we're gonna do it. We'll see where. I don't think they'll bust down the door, especially if there's only one the zombie. He's gonna take a while to do it, as it were. So. We'll be fine. I do wanna sleep. Let's take a look. Hopefully, we'll sleep late. And hopefully, the zombie's not going to bust down this door. Alright. Open curtains. Open window. There we go. 
Out we go. See you later. Look at that. Perfect. I do think there's a zombie in the main foyer over there, so that's why I'm not exploring the house. But I can move away from it at least. And it's dark out, so hopefully they can't really see me all that well. And we're going to try and pop open this window. Alarm goes off. We're basically going to head directly south over the fence and, and through that little patch of forest there. Looks like we're okay. Close window for now. We're going to be very, very careful as we kind of loot this place. Alright. Plastic bag. Good, good, good. We only need one. That's what I wanted. Uh, we're also going to equip it as our secondary. Start packing things away. Frying pan, hammer. Uh, we'll put the bowl of water in there. The bullets as well. We don't really need those on us immediately. What else do we got? Can opener. We need one at least, so we'll take a can opener. We'll take a bowl. We'll fill it with water while we're here. We'll back up a little bit. Oh, whoop, whoop. Thought the game was going to crash on me there for a second. Close up that. A rolling pin, not really useful. useful. Okay, that's a lot of good stuff. Mainly the soda's really good. Uh, there's something else. Chips and beans. We could take care of both of those and pack those up. I would like to. I would like a much better carrying bag. Oh, look at those zombies. Stay in between them. Look back and forth. Make sure nothing behind me. And just leave them behind. You can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. Something, 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 something. Ain't no friends of mine. Oh, all right. We'll take out. Oh, I was gonna say take out that one guy, but that's not gonna happen. Whoop! I don't want. Didn't want to walk into the tree. I'm burking the trees, man. If you don't get that joke, you don't watch enough Northern Lion or his stream or anything, or Dota. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Time to. Whoa! That scared me. That was loud. Oh my God! That panic moodle happened in real life. I had a real life panic moodle there for a moment. We're just going to try and get out of here, but it doesn't look like that's going to be an easy thing. Oh, Jesus. Whoop. See you later, big guy. And open field. Looks like that's where I'm heading. And apparently not so much anymore. Where am I? What is this? Dirt road going on here. Ah. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out right now. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Oh, Lord. Oh, he's fast. It's fine. It's all right. It's fine, I'm not worried about it. Except I'm really worried about it, but I'm not really worried about it. Whoop, there's zombies there. Okay. Alright, let's go. I need to gain I need to gain my uh my exhaustion back so I can run some more. God. Time to go. Alright. We are in suburban USA over here. And we're gonna dip over these fences. And with luck we're gonna lose the zombies. Looks like we got a safety over here, surprisingly. Excellent. Some safety. And uh, we'll pick up here next time. Whoop. We'll pick up here next time. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.